Hey guys, what's going on? Kel back here once again representing the 40 Call YouTube channel, bringing you another Warhammer 40,000 related video. Today, it's another video comparing the points, increases, decreases, whatever, from 8th edition into 9th edition. And today, it's specifically about the Blood Angels. Um, I went through some of the videos we've done in the past, seeing which ones have got like the most views and most comments and popular. Blood Angels came up straight away. So we're going to do a points view about the Blood Angels. But before we do that, guys, massive shout out, massive thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel over the past month. As of today, as of right now, we've passed over 150 subscribers. Thank you all very much, guys. Massively appreciated by myself and Col. Um, did a big shout out earlier on to a lot of people who've subbed the channel and uh, put some comments on the channel. If you would like your name to be shout out, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel um, and put some comments on. If they're really good, we will shout you out. For those of you who are new to the channel, we are 40 Call. We post Warhammer 40,000 content every single day, just like this. Things like hints, tips, reviews, news, painting videos, battle reports, all that kind of stuff. So if you uh, like Warhammer 40,000, you're into 40K, subscribe to the channel, guys, and we uh, will do our best to fulfill all your Warhammer 40,000 needs. But like I said, today is points um, comparison between 8th edition, 9th edition, and the Blood Angels. For those of you who haven't seen one of these videos before, uh, you will see that in column B, there is 8th edition, in column C, there is 9th edition, and in column D, there is uh, the percentage change from the editions. It's not points. For some reason, the um, the spreadsheet that we've got our hands on is percentages. But as you can see there, for example, Captain, uh, 74 points to 80, which is a 6-point increase and a percentage change of 8. So we're going to go through it, see what we think, see what stands out, and see what we can ascertain for the Blood Angels moving forward. At any point, guys, just pause the video if you see something you need to write down or uh, take notes on, and I'll go through it as quick as I can. What I will say, though, is um, a couple of things. First of all, from the videos that I've seen so far, the characters and the models and the units have got a point increase, but a lot of the weapons have had a decrease, so they're working out roughly the same, if not a very slight increase. Um, and second thing as well, guys, if you want to see another video, as you can see across the bottom, we have all kinds of factions. Death Watch, Grey Knights, Astra Militarum, um, Imperial Agents, Imperial Knights, anything really, anything you catches your eye, leave a comment below. And if we haven't done one already, um, once I say the comment, I will do a video about that particular faction. Anyway, Blood Angels. So, what stands out straight away? Stands out straight away there, Captain on Bike. Number 11 is 88 points to zero, which is a minus 100%. Does that mean you can't take a captain on a bike? I highly doubt that. Seems as though Games Workshop have just released a new uh, chaplain on bike. Um, I think a captain will be coming along in the future. Chaplain with a jump pack. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of jump pack units um, out there, especially the Primaris ones. Um, maybe they won't be fielded in the new edition. I'm not quite sure. Land Raider... Uh, Excelsior, uh, that has been on another video as well, which was 200 points. I don't think that's going to be fielded anymore. Normal Librarian had a uh, small points increase. Oh, if the increase as well, guys, for those of you who are new. Anything in green is uh, from 0 to like 15%. Anything from 15% to 25% is orange. And anything over a 25% increase is red. Or if they've had a points deduction, it is also green. Uh, what else we got? Lieutenant and Jump Pack. That's a hefty increase. 78 points to 90. Primaris Chaplain. 77 to 85. Okay, so a 13 point increase for the Primaris Chaplain. Primaris Captain. Uh, small increase. Primaris Librarian. Primaris Lieutenant. All the Primaris stuff getting about four, five, six, you know, point increases here and there. Primaris Rhino. No, that's doesn't look like it's going to be in there. Uh, Sanguinary Priest, five point increase. Sanguinary Priest with a jump pack, 20 point increase. 20 points for Sanguinary Priest with a jump pack. That's hefty. What else we got? Um, it'd be interesting to see the, the Death Company in that one, the Death Company roll around. In Curse Squad, we've seen all these before. Infiltrator Squad, a couple of points there. Uh, Helix Adept, a couple of points. Intercessor Squad, three points for a squad. Scout Squad, three points. Tactical Squad, three points. Uh, what else stands out? An Impulsor. An Impulsor's had a 25-point increase, so it's going to make it uh, more expensive to get your Primaris troops 
um, up into close combat quickly. Razorback Repulsa. Repulsa's had a, a big increase. Um, it's another 15 points there. Fast attack. Uh, Inceptors. Inceptors got a, a good kicking up there. Uh, 25 points to 40. Assault Squad um, had a 3 point increase. Suppressors. Suppressors had a big increase there. Um, 15 points. Uh, the Aggressors. Aggressors are going to be are already in a lot of battle reports. Um, I can see those getting fielded even more with like the both storm guns. Even though the gauntlets are now free, which you'll see on the right hand side, um, the aggressors the themselves have gone up in points. Um, things like in line seventy, the death company. Death company have gone up four points. Death company with jump packs um, up three points. I have a lot of those. Uh, I have a big squad of fifteen <laughs> with thunder hammers and stuff like that. That's a big increase. Death Company Dreadnought, I've got one of those, so that's an extra 15 points. Death Company Intercessors, I haven't seen those in any battle report yet, but they're already getting a 5-point increase. Uh, Dreadnought, Invicta Tactical Warsuit, that's going up a lot. That's, oh, I hate looking at that. That makes me sad looking at that, man. 45-point increase. <laughs> Furioso Dreadnought, 15 points. Primaris Ancient. Uh, Sanguinary Ancient, um, up... 20 points for a Sanguinary Ancient more. That's a lot. Sanguinary Guard, uh, four. What else we got that stands out purely for the Blood Angels? Terminators. Ball Predator, 10-point um, increase. Devastator Squads. Hellblaster Squads have gone up a lot. 18 points to 33. Repulsor Executioner oh, has gone up a lot. <laughs> 45 points. 45 points more for a post of execution. That's disgusting. Um, Stormhog in the center. Storm Ribbon Gunship. Uh, here we have some of the name carriers. So Astarath, another five points. Brother Caballo uh, has gone up. Captain Taicho has gone up. Uh, Mephiston has gone up. And so has Dandy. Mephiston and Dandy are now the same point cost at 170 points a model. Oof, that's, I mean, they're both amazing, especially Dandy. Um, I'm going off topic a little bit. What are the Blood Angels up to, I wonder? Dandy is now Lord of Imperium Nihilus and hasn't been around in the law for quite a bit. I was expecting him to get the Primaris treatment, but Mephiston got it, which we can't complain about because Mephiston is the Lord of Death. He is a beast. But I would love to see a new Dante model um, in the future. And I'm hoping that because the points increase is so high that he might be getting the Primaris treatment to coincide with Mephiston. Just putting it out there, hopefully anyway. Gabriel Seth, uh, Lamartis has gone up uh, 10 points. The Sanguinar has gone up 10 points. Taito the Lost has gone up um, 15 points. Interesting to see that. Um, I love the Astaroth model. Astaroth the Grim. What a, what a model that is. And for an extra 5 points, he can be um, amazing in games. Let's have a quick look at the range weapons. So you see a lot of stuff come down. If it has in the green column minus 100, that means they've come down totally. So things like Accelerator Auto Cannon, now a free weapon. Uh, assault Bolter, free weapon. Plasma uh, Incinerator, Astartes Grenade Launcher, now a free weapon. Auto Bolt Rifles, Auto Boom Storm Gauntlets are not no longer 12 points. They are now free, coming down 100%. So that's going to make the aggressors, um, the, the points increase a little bit easier to manage. We have Bolt Sniper Rifles, worth three points. So now I can take Sniper Rifles on my scouts for free. It'd be good to see if the Camo Cloaks come down as well. Um, making the scouts are more uh, cheaper still. Bullstorm Gauntlets, uh, also free. What else are we looking at that's free? Combi weapons have gone up. Flamestorm Cannon, Flamestorm Gauntlets, both now free weapons. Grav Cannons, big decrease. Hand Flamers have gone up 400% from 1.5. <laughs> heavy Boulder, Heavy Flame has gone up. Heavy Plasma Incinerator has come down from 17 to 0, so that's now looking like it's a free weapon. Uh, Incendium Cannon uh, was 15 points, now down to 0, so that makes uh, the War Suit a little bit more viable, especially like me, if you plan on running 3 of them. Inferno Pistols down from 9 points to 5. That's interesting. Most of my Death Company have Inferno Pistols. Hmm, that's good to know. Instigatable Carbine, free weapon. Uh, Mastercrafted Bolt Gun, gone up uh, two points. Mastercrafted Instigatable Carbine, Oculus Bolt Carbine, both now free weapons. 
Plasma Incinerator, um, 15 points down to zero. Plasma Blaster, Plasma Cannon come down substantially. Um, Song Strike Missile Launcher, now a free weapon. Twin Bolt Gun, free weapon. Twin Icarus Iron Hail Heavy Stubber, free weapon. Twin Iron Hail Auto Cannon, free weapon. Uh, Whirlwind, Castellan Launcher, Whirlwind, Vengeance Launcher, both coming down in points. Like I say, guys, I'm just going through this quickly. You can pause at any time you need to. Um, melee weapons. Let's have a quick look. Chain fist has come down. Four sacks, four steer, four sword. Um, all now free weapons. Good for things like librarians. Uh, Ferioso fist pair has come down. So a pair of fists will now cost 30 points instead of 40. That's really good. Lightning, a single lightning claw down a point. Mastercrafted Power Sword has gone up from 6 to 10. Uh, Thunderhammer Other. Thunderhammer on a character is the same. Thunderhammer on a normal character has come down, um, on a normal model has come down to point. What else we got? Auto Launches. Auxiliary Grenade Launches doubled from 1 to 2. Combat Shield has gone up from 1 to 3. Death Masks. Grav Shoots haven't stayed, uh, stayed the same. Uh, what else we got? Where is... The camo cloak. Oh, there, camo cloak is down from three points to two. Okay, so that's a little bit cheaper. Average unit percentage increase for the Blood Angels is twelve percent. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to be it. Um, you can pause this, like I say, anytime you need to. Anything you found interesting, um, just pause it, take some notes, whatever. Like I said at the beginning, if you're new to 40 Call, we post Warhammer 40,000 content every single day, sometimes multiple times a day, um, just like this. There's been like five videos, I think, coming out a day so far. So yeah, uh, I might do some more. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you like the video and if you're all the way at the end, thanks for watching all the way at the end. Hit that like button, guys. Can't tell you how much a single button hit can do for a small channel. It, it's all based on how YouTube backend works and how all the... Um, all the systems work for YouTube, but a like can do us a massive boost. And subscribe, guys. Just got over 150 subs. Would love to get to 200. Need the support. And would love to be part of the channel. Most important, guys, leave your comments below. What do you think? What's good? What's bad? What's indifferent? And what video would you like to see next? Um, Dark Angels, maybe. Tyranids, um, maybe. Death Watch. Nurgle. Demons. Let us know. And we'll put a video up. That's going to be it, guys. Uh, looking forward to your comments. This is Kel signing out for 40 Call saying stay safe, look after each other. Until next time, guys. We'll see you all later.